Good morning. Today's exercise is designed to help those that have a hard time standing and or just don't want to stand. It could be someone that maybe has a job that they can't leave their desk or it could be someone that maybe is elderly that uh, would still like to keep their body and their blood flow going through their system but um, is not able to because maybe they're not strong enough or their balance is a little bit challenged. So what you're going to need is a ball and you're going to need a chair. And so you're going to sit in the chair and kind of sit a little bit forward but your buttocks is still on the chair. Otherwise that would be a very difficult exercise. You're going to take the ball and bring it center. Line up the knees with your hips. Rib cage is lifted. Pull the tummy in. Head is stacked over the cervical and thoracic spine. You're going to take the ball and you're going to exhale. Look over your right side. Exhale. Inhale, bring it center. 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 Now you can continue to stay at this level of pace or you can pick up your pace. So we're going to be picking up our pace in four and for the people that want to go slower, they just go every other one or uh, for each count that we do, you do only one. Uh, I'm sorry, for, yeah, you only do one. Okay, ready? And here we go, center. One, two, three. Now here, what you want to make sure is that your hips remain steady. So you're not rotating, although that is a different exercise you can do as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Do 50 of those a day, and if you can't do them all at the same time, break them up. Do 10, take a break, do 10, take a break. What does that exercise do for you? It increases flexibility on the spine. It strengthens the core because you're working the obliques and the rectus abdominis. It supports the lower back because if your core is strong, your lower back is also supported. And of course, it works the upper body because you're rotating using the arms to maintain the ball in front of you. All right, so the, this was the exercise for today. I want you to start thinking of ways that you can change um, what you do every day so that we can begin to remap the, the nerves, the, the neurons that go to your brain for blood flow. What I'm talking about is uh, manual things. If you brush your teeth with your right hand, try to switch with your left and do the same exercise. But you might need a little longer time because the left hand might not be as coordinated as your right. All right, I'll be giving you more tips later on. Thanks for watching.